How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. What will it take? Why the way up and down? I'm losing ground. Good afternoon from a beautiful autumn afternoon in the national capital, Canberra. And I've been reading a bit of online literature today, news sites and comment sites, and a lot of that's got to do with how our leaders are doing in Australia, but around the world. And most of the commentary, not all of it, but most of it is that our national leaders, both here and elsewhere, haven't been doing the greatest job. And particularly in Australia over the last six months, where there was a lot of criticism of national leadership around the bushfires, and now there's a lot of criticism around uh, the coronavirus. And then I got to start thinking about how I relate to leadership and realised that in my often righteous indignation about the way I'm being led, I can get um, very, very resentful. But examining that further, what I've realised, it's actually my expectations that are the problem, not the way I'm being led. And I'm not sure why we call elected officials leaders. There's an assumption that if you win an election and then you're voted by your colleagues to be the leader of the party and then you become prime minister, that that sort of automatically bestows the title of leadership and assumes that you can lead. And this is just not true. So from now on, I'm going to start calling these people the elected officials or politicians or um, those that we elect. And it actually does both me and the national politicians a pretty good service because it unburdens them from a role that they were never elected to. When we go and elect politicians, particularly federal politicians, we just go to elect representatives to the parliament. The idea of the prime minister, the term prime minister is actually not used in our constitution. And bestowing or locking in or welding or fusing the term prime minister and leadership is a foolish thing for me to do. Because all I'm going to do is feel let down. Our elected officials, I think, often reign for Parliament for the best of intentions. And they were people just like you and I, often, who wanted to make a bit of a difference and then accidentally found themselves in very senior positions or in fact as prime ministers. And the appellation leader that we bestow on them is something that I've assumed that they're able to do, that is provide leadership because one day they ran for pre-selection in their local seat and they won that and then they went to the election and they won that and then they were in the parliament and then they got elected to the cabinet and then they became a cabinet member and a cabinet uh, uh, a minister of the crown and then one day they were elected the prime minister. That's all that happened and the abilities to do that or to get to that point in their lives or that point in their career is actually called the ability to win elections, which is quite a different ability to provide leadership and direction and inspiration for a society. So what they really are, are our elected officials. And I'll look elsewhere for leadership if I'm looking for leadership around uh, getting through uh, the coronavirus. Have a good Saturday night. Talk to you again soon. Yeah.